intro! Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sawmill. Uh, on the bed right now we have a piece of eastern white uh, pine. This log is kind of a lesson log for us. Uh, we were traveling around town and we happened to see a tree service in the middle of taking down this uh, twin pine. It had a single base but and split. Uh, it's a very large pine. We got four pieces out of it, but the mistake we made was when we were driving by, they had limbed the top and they had the two uprights still standing up. We went there, looked at it, scaled it as it was standing, and then made an offer for the four pieces that were going to come down. Unfortunately, after they were cut, as you can probably see in the video, the center is all red rod. On top of that, while they were standing up, they were so tall that it was difficult to see that there was a huge whip in both of the trunks. So right now, as it sits on the bed, this end is buried into the mill bed, that end is buried into the mill bed, and the middle underneath, uh, behind me, is still not touching the rails. That's how much of a whip it has in it. Um, so there's going to be a huge amount of loss in this for us. We're gonna try and salvage what we can out of it. We're gonna do some high cuts, the board, or sorry, the log is 12 foot nine. On this end, it's 27 inches. On the other end, it's 30 inches. But what we're gonna end up doing is top cutting it and then basically trying to get shorter boards out of it. So even though it's 12 foot nine, it's gonna end up being probably eight foot boards off the top. When we flip it over, we're gonna end up with the whipped end pieces up and then we're gonna end up losing all of that and then hopefully have a little bit of meat still left in the bottom to get a couple of uh, 12 foot boards on the flat. But until we open it up, there's no way of knowing. But a lesson to everybody else who's buying things uh, or you know who has stuff in their yard, until you've seen it cut and it's, it's on the ground, you shouldn't try and scale it or figure out what you're gonna get out of it because there really is no way of knowing. So lesson learned, you know, but we're gonna cut it anyway because we own it and we're gonna try and harvest what we can out of it and go from there. Thanks for watching as always, we're gonna get to it. not solid wood. So I'm digging at it so that we can kind of find out how deep this goes. 
because if it really does go through all the way down so right there I start to hit solid wood again but that's 10 inches deep into that log off of that face cut which means there might be two pieces left on the other side that we can get out of, out of the flat cut so any good wood we're going to get out of this is going to be on the edges it doesn't even look like the edges are going to be decent either it's solid out there it's all here i mean there's it's it's basically edge cuts i mean there's yeah i want to talk about a log that literally has no yield i mean that's yeah hey dave thanks for scaling those logs at the job site appreciate it appreciate it bud <laughs> Can't win. Can't win every time. Some, sometimes right. it just doesn't swing your way. Put you back. So this, this rot that's in the center of the log travels all the way down to both ends and it affects basically both sides. There's a giant knot hole in the top of the log and the back end of the log over here tapers up and away from us. So even if we roll this thing over, cutting it down, we'd be cutting for sticker stock. And for us, because it's a non-hydraulic mill, chasing that kind of uh, yield doesn't make any sense at all. So we're gonna call it and admit that Dave was totally wrong. And sometimes the size of the logs as they're standing, you get excited because of you know the board footage possibilities. But again, you know, I'm the first to admit that basically the the smartest thing to do is make sure that you scale your logs once they're cut sitting on the ground so you can actually get a good uh, idea of what the actual taper of the log is, the size, and whether or not they have damage or rot or anything else like that, because you know every cut costs you money, and uh, the whole point of cutting all this stuff is to get a good yield. Uh, as always, we appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Until we see you again, stay safe and be well. All right? Hey, terrific. First of all, admit that Andrew had absolutely nothing to do with scaling these logs. I love how it's we every time there's a massive failure and then when there's a success, it's like, yeah guys, so I was here, Andrew was sleeping. Admit that Dave was totally wrong. Totally wrong. As long as that makes you happy.